Hey everybody, it's Louie from Jaffram, home of the Motorcycle Gear Experts. Today we're taking a look at some of the best helmets for cruising, available at Jaffram.com. It's common nowadays to hear a helmet style identified by the type of motorcycle it's most commonly associated with. Full face helmets have become sport bike helmets, half helmets are cruiser helmets, and so on. Most riders will I'm sure agree that their look is important. Self-expression is a big part of motorcycling for many that participate in it. And I agree, an angular, futuristic looking full face doesn't really go all that well with a rigid shovel head. That doesn't mean though that a retro styled open face is your only helmet option. See, I challenge all riders to purchase their safety helmet based on the style with which they ride their motorcycles, not based on the style of motorcycles they ride. A spirited rider who enjoys testing the physical and mechanical limitations of his or her motorcycle is far more likely to need the protection offered by a premium full face helmet than a rider who just likes to putt around, no matter what style of bike you're riding. You know your riding habits, it's up to you to pick the right equipment. In this video, we're going to take a look at 8 of the best helmets for cruising. Now cruising is what you're doing when you realize Fu Manchu Cupcakes is finally open. It's the type of riding you're doing when you notice that there's no artists hanging outside of foos, so a walk-in tattoo is probably not an option. Cruising's chilling, it's relaxing, it's taking in the sights. Today's helmets promote the seeing of the sights and the smelling of the smells. To see any of these cruising helmets in greater detail, check out the individual Closer Look video for that item. Now, the first helmet in our 2014 cruising helmet buying guide is the incredibly popular Shark Raw helmet. The Raw is one of the coolest things to hit motorcycling since digital ignition. The most notable feature for most is going to be the removable goggle and mask system. The goggles are made by Carl Zeiss, a world-renowned camera lens manufacturer, and feature a dual-pane, scratch-resistant, and fog-free lens. These goggles are designed to work with your prescription glasses and come with an additional smoke lens with high-vis options also available. Its shell is constructed from an injection-molded thermoplastic resin, and the helmet features a dual-density EPS liner. It has a universally fitting oval head shape and is available in sizes extra small to extra large. Another standout feature of the RAW is the moisture wicking antibacterial and hypoallergenic bamboo liner. It's removable, washable, and is prepped to accept Shark's proprietary Shark Tooth Bluetooth communication system. Let's take a closer look at the Shark RAW Motorcycle Safety Helmet. Next, we have the unique design of the Nolan N20. Now, the N20 is an exotic looking Italian made helmet and is divided into three color styles. This Italian themed rider, the City, which is available in five colors, and the Outlaw, which is available in flat or gloss black and has a chrome emblem on the forehead instead of the Nolan script. Now this helmet features a very lightweight polycarbonate shell that meets DOT requirements and is ECE approved in Europe. It tipped our scales at a mere 2.65 pounds. The shape of the N20 is round, and the size chart runs a little bit small if you have an oval head. Now the size chart calls for a large for my head circumference, but this XL is still pretty snug. Now the N20 has some pretty cool features. The built-in half shield is optically correct and offers UV 400 protection. The liner system is also unique. It's held in with no straps of any kind. It's all hook and loop. Now this helmet's also fitted with Nolan's Microlock adjustable quick release retention system. Here's a closer look at the Nolan N20 helmet. This next helmet is the one-of-a-kind Bell Rogue. This is technically a half helmet, but the fixed neck curtain gives the Rogue the decreased wind noise and aerodynamics of a three-quarter. At almost three pounds, this helmet's a little heavier than the N20 we just looked at, but the precise fit makes the weight seem unnoticeable, at least on my head. Now, the Rogue's available in tough guy finishes only, with gloss black, three matte finished solids, and the matte Corey Miller War Eagle graphic. It has an intermediate oval head shape, and will fit a bunch of North American heads. The popularity of the Rogue is due in large part to this trick muzzle design. You use these adjustable buckles to set the muzzle depth. Then, using the Fidlock magnetic connection, you can install the muzzle by simply clicking it into place. You can remove it by just lifting it up and off. Other notable features include a removable and washable liner with integrated speaker pockets and a five-year manufacturer's warranty. Why not take a closer look at the Bell Rogue? The 
next helmet we're gonna look at is so perfect for the kind of riding we're doing today that HJC actually named this helmet after you. It's the HJC IS Cruiser. It has an intermediate oval shape and a precise fit that's accurate to the size chart. Now this looks nearly identical to the Harley Davidson Crossroads helmet. And that's because they're the same. Harley does really well with this lid, so HJC decided to make a model for everybody. The IS and IS Cruiser comes from this internal sun shield. Now this is the same sun shield found on the premium Arfa Max and the FG Jet helmets. It uses a simple, durable mechanism with multiple detents. The stock shield color is this light smoke. It's really light, so you're definitely going to want to order the dark smoke if you're going to use this shade in lieu of sunglasses. You can also order a yellow shade, which is great for creating depth in low light conditions. Other notable features include a drop down shell design for a secure fit and a plush Nylex moisture wicking liner. Enjoy now, a closer look at the HJC IS Cruiser Motorcycle Riding Home. Next, we have one of the staff favorites here at Jaffa. In fact, Alan Evans thinks that this Scorpion XOC 110 helmet is just tops. And this is definitely one of the most comfortable half helmets you will ever put on your head, especially if you're plagued with one of the longer oval head shapes like this one. Now, part of the precise fit comes from the drop style shell design, and the moisture wicking quick wick liner gets the rest of the credit. I'm also quite partial to the sunshade design. See, the release mechanism ensures that the shade never creeps down unexpectedly and it does it without needing any switches or sliders on the shell. You also get detachable cheek pads with built-in speaker pockets, an excellent ventilation system, and this helmet is available in five solid colors, including this clean looking white, and features a DOT approved advanced polycarbonate alloy shell. Ready or not, here's a closer look at the Scorpion XO C110 motorcycle helmet. The next helmet in our 2014 cruising helmet buying guide is the famed Bell Pit Boss. Now, this helmet has a sophisticated tri-matrix construction and is available in solids, flame graphics, this new checker graphic, and a real carbon fiber finish. The shape is very similar to the C110 we just looked at, with one major difference. It fits adjustable. That's right. They took the popular speed dial fit system from their cycling helmets and added it to a motorcycling helmet. Now, this system allows you to fine tune the fit of the helmet by manipulating this wheel. The Achilles heel of half helmets is that they tend to lift badly on the highway when riding without a windshield. The speed dial fit system allows you to snug up the helmet before you get on the highway, offering a precise fit and therefore minimal lift. Now another feature that adds to this helmet's versatility is the neck roll. Now it offers some warmth in cooler weather and reduces some of the wind noise. You can remove it in warmer weather to maximize the airflow. Now you also get the convenience of an internal sunshade and a moisture wicking liner. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, a closer look at the Bell Pit Boss. The next helmet I have for you today is one of the best selling items on all of Jaffram.com. This is the AFX FX200 Dual Shield Helmet. The FX200 is an excellent value and features an FRP or fiberglass reinforced plastic shell. It has a round head shape and is available in sizes extra small to double extra large. Now, not to be confused with the FX200S, the FX200 Dual Shield can be easily identified by the presence of the dual internal sunshade setup. This helmet has built in eye protection for both day and nighttime use. The shades have three positions, including halfway lower. I thought this was a little odd until I tried it. Now, the half lowered position is excellent for those days when it's cloudy but still kind of bright. You can lower the clear shield completely for eye protection and lower the smoke shield halfway for some glare reduction. Other value boosting features include a removable bill visor for easy cleaning and removable ear pads for a little added warmth and noise canceling. Have a gander, the AFX FX200 Dual Shield Motorcycle. Now the 
last helmet I'd like to show you today has features that make it excellent for cruising, but also provides a high level of safety with an aim constructed shell. Now, this is an ultra premium selection from Showy called the J Cruise. In addition to cruising, this helmet makes an excellent tour as well. It's very versatile. Now, this helmet's remarkably close in design to the popular Neotech modular helmet. It just doesn't have the raisable chin bar. Now, the tall CJ2 face shield features an integrated air dam that adds to the helmet's aerodynamics and reduces wind noise. Now, the shield also has a simple yet effective locking mechanism. It's a very useful feature, especially at quicker speeds, and a rare find on an open face helmet. You also get the QRN base plates from the Neotech. Now, the spring-loaded base plates pull the shield tight against the dual wiper eye port gasket, creating an excellent seal and further reducing wind noise. Now, these base plates also make shield removal and installation a breeze. All you have to do is slide this lever toward the front of the helmet and the shield pops free. Other top of the line features of this J Cruise include this retractable internal sunshade, truly excellent ventilation, and a multi piece EPS liner. Set your peepers on this J Cruise helmet from Shelly. seen eight of Jaffram's finest helmet selections for cruising. To see more of our huge helmet selection, subscribe to Jaffram on YouTube or click the link below to go to our website. You can direct questions to YouTube in the form of comments on any of our videos. You can also click our live chat icon or give us a call at one go helmet Like us on Facebook for daily deals and rider news and remember, when it comes to our customers, we'll ride the extra mile. I'm Louie. You'll see me next time.